Hi, this is problem 10 from the 2020 AIM-1. Let M and N be positive integers satisfying the condition that the greatest common divisor between M plus N and 210 is one. M to the N is a multiple of N to the N and M is not a multiple of N. Find the least possible value of M plus N. Okay, this problem gave me quite a bit of difficulty it wasn't clear to me how you can satisfy conditions two and three. It seems as though any way that you choose a prime factor that goes into n, then that prime factor is gonna end up in m, such that uh, m will be a multiple of n. So I'm not sure how to satisfy conditions two and three simultaneously. So let's just take a look at uh, condition one to try to get started. So they've given us this number 210, which is always a little suspicious to me. So let's uh, examine 210. And we break that down. We find this is equal to two times three times five times seven. So lo and behold, it's the product of the four smallest primes. So I don't think that's an accident. And we're told that the greatest common divisor between M and N is and 210 is 1, so m plus n cannot share any prime factor of 210, so m plus n cannot contain any of the factors 2, 3, 5, or 7. Okay, so again, I'm not really sure how to how to grab onto this problem, so let's just try a few things to see how this works. So let's just pick a small value of, of n, so let's imagine n is equal to say perhaps 5, so if n is equal to 5, then m is going to pick up at least one factor of 5, so that m is a multiple of n, so this doesn't work. And it also has a problem that if n is 5, m picks up a factor of 5, m plus n will also have a factor of 5, and that shares a common factor with 210, so it, sat it doesn't satisfy even the first condition. So we can't choose n equal to 5, we can't choose it equal to 2, 3, 5, or 7. So the next thing that we could choose just to get a feel for this is, what if we choose n is equal to 11? If we choose n is equal to 11, m will pick up that factor of 11 such that m will be a multiple of n, so that doesn't work. If we let n is equal to 13, we run into the same problem. If we let n equal to, say, 11 times 13, we run into the same problem. So at that point, you may guess that perhaps we want to let n equal two factors of 11, such that when n is equal to 11 squared, m will pick up at least one factor of 11, but perhaps not two factors of 11, so that we don't violate this third condition. So let's let m equal k times 11, such that k is not a multiple of 11, so we don't want k to be 11, 22, or 33, and so on. So let's how th see how this uh, sorts out then. So we have m to the m being k times 11 to the k times 11, so that's k to the k dot 11, 11 to the k times 11, and the number n to the n, which is 11 squared to 11 squared. So that's 11 to the 242. So for the first condition, we want m to the m to be a multiple of n to the n. So we find that this exponent has to be at least as large as this exponent, k times 11, greater than or equal to 242, such that k is greater than or equal to 22. All right, so that's a very useful condition now. So since we're again, we're trying to find the smallest values of m plus n, let's try to pick a few values of k that are as small as possible. So let's start off with k equal to 22. So just to get a feel, if we let k equal to 22, then m will equal to 22 times 11, 242, n will be 121, m plus n is 363, 
So this has a lot of problems. We find that m is already a factor of n, so that's no good. m plus n shares a factor with 210, so that's no good. So this fails on two accounts. Let's try the next value of k, 23. m is then 253. n is still 121. The sum, 374. All right, so m is not a multiple of n, so that's good. Um, 374 shares a factor of 2 with 210, so that's no good. Let's try the next one up. k is 24, m is equal to 264, n is equal to 121, the sum 385. We have, still have a problem. This shares a factor of 5 with 210, so that's no good. Let's try k is 25. For 25, m is 275, n is 121, the sum is 396. All right, this has a problem again. It has a factor of 3 and 2 that it shares with 210, so that's no good. If we let k is equal to 26, then m is 286, n is 121, the sum 407. That looks promising. Uh, this does not share a factor with 2, 3, 5, or 7, so it satisfies the first condition. Uh, m is a multiple of n. It satisfies the second condition. M is not a multiple of n, so it satisfies the third condition. So this is our answer, 407, sum m plus n.